Mr. Robs. And Mrs. Slim. We are going to do another quadratic word problem scenario. And this one's using the Pythagorean theorem. So it says, find the length of the hypotenuse, which we all know is the angle opposite your 90 degree angle. Right. So this is the angle or the length we'll be looking for. Okay, using the Pythagorean theorem. I love the Pythagorean mm. theorem. It's the, so dear to our heart. It is. And the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the key to the Pythagorean theorem is that c is always, always, always the hypotenuse, the longest side. So always opposite your 90 degree. Okay, and so a and b can be either one. So let's just start plugging things in and see what we come up with. Okay, for a, we'll call that one 2x. Sure. Remember, the whole thing is squared, so it's right. important to keep your parentheses. All right. Plus b. Just 5 squared. Again, on the C, it's very important to keep those parentheses in there. All right. Without the percent parentheses, people tend to forget to square everything. Okay, and so 2x squared is going to be 4x squared. Plus, plus 25. Right. Now, you might want to consider pausing the podcast and trying to work this out by yourself at this point in time. But we'll just keep on going, and you can, as you can unpause it now. All right, so if I was to write this out, sometimes it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Because when I'm squaring, I have to do the whole thing times itself. So 2x times 2x is? 4x squared. Plus? Uh, 6x. Plus another 6x. Plus 9. All right, now let's simplify a little bit. Okay. 4x squared plus 25 equals... Plus 12x plus 9. All right. Now what? Nope. Now, oh, it's a plus 9. Thank you. No worries. That's why it's good to do it together. Uh, now let's bring everything to one side of the equation and set it equal to 0. Get rid of this 4x squared over here. Oh, you want to bring it all over. That would be probably better. Yeah, we could. Well, let's just see what, let's okay. see what happens. So now I have 25 oh, equals? The, uh, equals 12x plus 9. I can just move my 25 over then. All right. Where's where'd the x's, x squares go? They're gone. They're gone. Nice. That makes it way easier. No extend page. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. So now on this side, we have 0 equals 12x oh, minus 16. Ooh, 16. Great. And now we just have to solve x. Yeah, easy. Easy. Plus 16. 16 equals 12x. Mm -hmm. Divide by 12. And we get? Uh, 4 over 3, I think, is what it simplifies to. So 4 thirds is x, but we're not finished. No, we have to answer the question. So if we know 4 thirds is x. 4 thirds is x. Go ahead and put it up here in a different color. Okay. The question is asking us to find the hypotenuse. So given that our hypotenuse is 2x plus 3, right. I just have to substitute in my 4 thirds. So I'll go ahead and write it here. 2x plus 3. Mm -hmm. Substitute. Well, let's do it all as fractions because we really got to practice fractions. Yeah. yeah, plus 4 thirds is not really a decimal anyways. Right. It's on forever. Mm -hmm. It does. That's true. So we get 8 thirds plus 3. Now we need a common denominator. All right, so mm -hmm. let's make them both over 3. Okay. This becomes 9. And 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 thirds. And so, we could leave it like that or. Right. There are no units because it just was numbers. So I that's. Guess we could just we write units. Yeah. Done. Is it squared or just units? Just units, because it's not area. Ah, just, uh, just the length. Super. All right, great. Okay, that's it. One more after this.